When we sin, we have an advocate. We have a lawyer. We have an an intercessor with the Father. That intercessor is Jesus Christ. Let Let me just paint a picture for you today of what happens when we sin and we confess our sin, okay? Let me use an illustration today. Let's imagine that Mark sins, all right? Now, Mark lives in our house, so I can verify the fact that Mark sins, all right? I I can verify that. The sad thing is, is I'm not gonna tell you what they are because Mark can verify the fact that I sin too, and so we're not gonna go there today, all right? So, so, So Mark blows it, whatever it is. Mark blows it, does something that he knows dishonors God, does something that he knows displeases God. He realizes that. And so as a believer, he takes advantage of 1 John 1, 9, the verses previous to this, and goes to God the Father and says, man, God, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I know I shouldn't have responded that way. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have done that. God the Father, will you please forgive me? Whenever Mark goes to God and asks for forgiveness of that way, here is what takes place in heaven. Jesus Christ, who's sitting right beside God the Father, says, can I interject something for just a moment here? And Jesus goes to God the Father and encourages God the Father to forgive Mark. And and that encouragement is not based upon, he's not saying, hey God, you know what, if you forgive him this time, he'll never ever sin again. I promise he's a good guy, he just blew it once, he'll never sin again. Forgive him because he'll never do it again because we all know Mark and what? Mark's gonna do it again, all right? And so are you, (laughs) and so am I. That the forgiveness that Jesus intercedes for is not based upon Mark's righteousness, it's not based upon Mark's justice, it's not based upon Mark's goodness. It's based upon Jesus. It's based upon Jesus' righteousness. And it's based upon Jesus' goodness. And when Jesus goes to God the Father on God's behalf, he doesn't say, God, forgive Mark because of Mark. Here's what he says. God, forgive Mark because of me. Because the price of Mark's sin has already been paid for. Jesus intercedes for us. Listen, I want you to catch that, and I know I've said it over and over. He's not in heaven in a lounge chair not doing anything. He's interceding for you. He's going to bat for you. 